How gutsy was it for uh, Adam Jones to call out the Boston Red Sox fans? Well, I thought it was the right thing to do, but I, I, I also want to say to everybody out there that, you know what, if there's a fool in the stands or there, you're walking around and someone says something like that to you, it almost, you should turn and chuckle because I say that because that word, there should you should take this thing out of that word and it shouldn't affect you. Um, we just did the Jackie Robinson statue dedication in um, – at Dodger Stadium and, you know, sitting with Rachel Robinson and listening to her talk about how the abuse in the years and the things that Jackie internalized, how that's what turned his hair prematurely gray. And she believes that that's some of the internalizing that is what killed him. And so I feel like when you hear that now and you hear people even in this day and age, don't worry about what's going on in the ballpark or why, why a fool would say that or let that word bother you, but do examine what's going on in the community that makes someone feel like they can come into a, a public venue and say that? And how is it affecting the people in that community away from just the word, but how is it affecting their ability to have, you know, funding for a school? But do you think you could chuckle if somebody did uh, There that is too? no doubt that if someone said that to me, I would turn around and look and I'd be like, you're a damn fool because you feel like that word is going to derail me now. And it's not because I'm still coming and I'm coming tomorrow and I'm coming the next day. And there are more important things than you standing in the stands and yelling that word. Now, it will make me turn around once again and say, but what's happening in your world and what's making you feel like it's okay to go there or that you have to pull something out? You have to go that deep? I also go back to, you know, think of the days of a guy like Robin Ficker who would sit behind the benches um, at NBA games, and he would come up with clever things. So he was—he things. would be the guy at the, at the Bullets games. The Bullets game. I, you know, I that's how long ago it was. It was yes. the Washington, and, and maybe it the was Baltimore the Washington Bullets. Bullets. And I remember doing a story on Robin Ficker, and he sat behind the Bulls bench when Michael was in town, and Phil was still the coach, and he read from Phil's book Maverick, <laughs> and he read he read a chapter about Phil taking LSD. And what it was like when he was on an LSD trip. <laughs> so every time they call time out, Ficker would stand up and he'd start reciting this stuff about Phil Book Maverick and Phil on an LSD trip. And then Phil <laughs> Phil also had he would Phil described having sex on LSD. So Robin Ficker standing up in the timeout <laughs> describing Phil like we made passionate love. Jordan and Pippen are dying. They're dying. They're on the bench and they're covering their mouths up, but they're dying. That's incredible. The stupidity of what Adam Jones was going through, yeah. it's stupid. I hope Adam Jones goes out and hits a home run. But you know what, Adam Jones? Turn around and look at those people and realize that there's something else going on and worry about the people who are affected by the, not the words, but the actions of those people who use those words. And then we started to hear other athletes because, you know, who knows how much you're internalizing. CC Sabathia came out. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of the other uh, black ball players said, you know, we, we know that that's what happens when we go to Boston. You just sort of, Figure, all right, I'm going to take it, and then we leave. Well, and here's the thing. I, I hope that the people in Boston, that when you hear someone say something like that. And they did point him and, out. Yeah, it's, it's, and that's what I'm saying. That has to be yeah. the standard, that you all stand up. You know, in Europe, you know, and everybody's like, in Europe, they shut the they shut the field down, and, you know, you see where people are throwing bananas and doing yep. crazy things like that. Listen, it's a bigger problem. It's what's happening in the world outside the stadium that is bringing that behavior into inside the stadium. And that's where we really need to focus and say, what can we do to kind of close the gap so that people don't feel it's okay. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.